Do you condemn white supremacy and white nationalism? I mean, what this guy, who are you with? What, which, Washington, Post. Wash, Washington Post. All right, so <laughs> potato, potato, okay. Of course, I condemn any form of vicious racial discrimination in this country. But I think that the presumption of your question is fundamentally based on a falsehood that that really is the main form of racial discrimination we see in this country today. Institutionalized racism is institutionalized racial discrimination that we see that doesn't come from somehow discriminating against people on the basis of some tenet of white supremacy. It's based on affirmative action. It's based on actually discriminating against people on the color of their skin in a way that's actually institutionalized today. Was there a point in our history, at points in our prior national history, where there have been vicious forms of anti-black or anti-brown discrimination throughout this country after the Civil War and otherwise? Yes. But you're looking in the rearview mirror and using that to pose a question today that is so far removed from what the reality is in America today. This myth of white supremacy, the closest you can find is Jussie Smollett, where you all were actually speaking of trust in the media, jumping up and down over some false narrative. The best way you're able to find your best instance of white supremacy was a guy who was actually paying his other fellow people to be actually staging something that didn't happen. And so stop picking on this farce of some figment that exists at some infinitesimally small fringe of the American public today to open our eyes to the actual real threats that we face. And I think that it's frankly questions and framings like that that has caused the American public to lose all trust in the mainstream media, I'm sorry to say, for good reason. You didn't say that you condemn white supremacy. I'm not, I'm not going to recite some catechism for you. I'm against vicious racial discrimination in this country. So I'm not pledging allegiance to your new religion of modern wokeism, which absolutely fits, fits the test. I'm not going to bend the knee to your religion. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to bend the knee to mine, and I'm not going to bend the knee to yours. But do I condemn vicious racial discrimination? Yes, I do. Am I going to play your silly game of gotcha? No, I'm not. And frankly, this is why people have lost trust. And I know you're going to go print the headline tomorrow. I already know this. We already know how your game works. Vivek Ramaswamy refuses to condemn white supremacy because you asked a stupid question. The reality is... I condemn vicious racial discrimination in this country, but the kind of vicious and systematic racial discrimination we see today is discrimination on the basis of race in a very different direction. You want to know what the best way is to end discrimination on the basis of race? Stop discriminating on the basis of race. Do that, and we're going to move this country forward. And I don't care whether you're black or white or brown or anything in between. That's how we're going to unite this country. You people have been responsible for dividing this country to a breaking point, creating a projection of national division. I meet people from the south side of Chicago to meetings like this one of every shade of melanin, multiple from man to woman, doesn't make a difference, who are hungry for reviving unity in this country. And you, with your catechism that you try to get to politicians to whatever fake headline you're going to print on the basis of this conversation tomorrow, that's what's dividing this country for a break, to a breaking point. Shame on you. Look people in the eye and tell them what you've actually failed to tell them for the last five years. Own the accountability for your own failures as the media. That's how we rebuild trust in this country. And until then, I don't have a lot of patience to play.